Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another stream of Luke Slayman. Hello. I am here in my new sweater today. Um <laughs> when I woke up, Reddit was a fucking shit show. We're gonna take a look at that. Afterwards, I got a whole bunch of games from Mr. 24. He was so kind to um he bought a bundle and the games that he did not use I could have. Oh my god, so nice. So I wanna try out a game there. Uh Starbound seemed pretty interesting. This is actually not better. I'll be a vampire, it's okay. Um, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Now I am chatting with people in the meantime because a whole bunch of shit happened in my own sort of circle as well. Got a coffee, I have a pizza in my stomach. So that's good. I have energy, wow. All right, so the first thing I see when I open it <laughs> Is this a fucking shit? <laughs> oh my god. This. This is gonna be the meme for the next fucking year. Doing the walk like, hell yeah, got the bitch. Does he actually say anything too? The like, hardest job tonight? There we go. He actually hit him. Yeah, I thought it was fake. I thought it was a sketch. After some scrolling, no. Look at this shit. I was just about to watch this. The hardest job I haven't seen it with sound yet. Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> He is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> okay, so this seems that pretty a, tame. That was a nice one. Okay. Welcome, by the way, 24. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> okay, so I guess it wasn't tame. Oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. He plays Literally it off really cool. Out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. All right. So what did he actually a... say? Did I miss something the or something? Hardest job tonight. Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> it's he just like some competition going on there, right? Wins. Like, please. But apparently it was about her hair, so I don't understand. Jada, Did, am I missing you. something? G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> and he's laughing! <laughs> Then he walks up, smacks the shit out of him. A, what the nice fuck? One. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> because there he actually goes and fucking slams the guy. What the oh, wow. fuck? Wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, and he means it. Dude. Look at the face. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's what is G.I. Jane? Ah, it's because she has a shaved head too. That's not too bad, is it? Like, I was like, with the context that I got from Reddit so far, I thought that maybe his wife had cancer and he made a joke about that in that case like then i can understand if it's a very distasteful cancer joke yeah of course you smack the shit out of him this seems not too bad out your fucking mouth. i'm going to okay he deals with it really well though yeah he was just making fun of her haircut not a disease or anything maybe she does have cancer i don't know Explained, yes, please do. 
Oh, fuck off. LOP, yeah. Peace, yeah? Not sure. Is this a very bad disease or something? It's just hair loss. It's actually just hair loss. This is not too bad. Why the hell do you smack someone for that? Everyone gets roasted at the Oscars. This is normal. Like, sure, maybe distasteful, but I guess not that bad. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Imagine fucking Ricky Gervais. Do you remember the, the speeches that he gave? Where he just completely disintegrated the entire audience. He didn't get smacked. What the hell? <laughs> oh boy. Was... Kind of get it a little bit. What's your take on this, Sean? Because like, yeah, she can't help it, apparently. Knows it's a sensitive topic. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Maybe he didn't even know. Maybe he just thought that she shaved her head. But on top of that, like, there has to be, like, a party where you can mingle. That is true. Willemann do take that hard. And I mean, not just women, let's be honest. And I mean, you can see here that she does not like the joke. And his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? G.I. Jane, can't wait to see it. Like, she isn't happy. You can see it in her face. No, me neither. Never seen him that angry. I mean, you're right. I don't know what the dynamic is. Maybe Will and his wife have had long discussions about this, about how insecure she is. And, oh, my God, I'm going to have to go to the Oscars and I'll be bald. And she was really stressed. Who knows? And then this guy comes on stage and makes a joke about it. Like, the, the the thing that Will was like, no, don't worry, don't worry, honey, it's not going to happen, it'll be fine, and then this fucker comes on stage and makes a joke. Like, I get that. Between Will and Chris Rock, yeah, that too, right? If they are already not on the best terms, and then this motherfucker <laughs> makes a joke about his wife's biggest insecurity at the moment... Uh. And I mean, freedom of speech does not mean that you can just say anything that you want. It means that you cannot be legally persecuted for saying something. It does not mean that you cannot be smacked in the head if you make a stupid joke. <laughs> Damn, though. Did you guys see the pictures, too, of, like, all the reactions of the individual audience members? Those are pretty good, too. I'll scroll for a little bit, see if we can find some more stuff. And immediately after this happening, like, his publicist just sort of swarmed on him, like, okay, this is how we're going to deal with it, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Uh -oh, Richard. Can we, like, jump to this topic? He warned him. Oh, he warned him beforehand. Oh. How is Will Smith allowed to stay in the venue where he just assaulted someone on live TV? Because it wasn't that bad and he has to press charges. I, I, this makes a lot more sense. Like, <laughs> it's starting to uh, clear up. Mm. 
Nah, this is stupid because I get the same thing. Like in the moment, you are not expecting something like this to happen, and you're still sort of in a laughy vibe because the rest of the set is good, you know. And then it sinks in for a moment, and you're like, "Fuck, can't let this sort of slide." I'm looking for the reactions of the audience, and I guess I can't find them like this. Will Smith audience reactions. Reddit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think this is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody is like, what the fuck? It's one thing I did notice, like, Nah, it was a slap. Everybody is telling, like, it, it's a punch. No, it wasn't. It's just... It was hard, though. Like, and I love that The Rock has the exact same expression in real life as he does in all of his movies. <laughs> That's kind of funny to me. Nah, like... Yeah, it was definitely meant to hurt. He plays it off like a champ, though. <laughs> it's really fucking good. He just stands there and just sort of acknowledges it. Like, props to Chris Rock for dealing with it, too. Gotta make a call. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> Shit. Uh, but this is all of Reddit today. There's there's no other posts. This is it. Except apparently Nazi officers that I'm not particularly interested in. Ooh, that I have done. Although probably when I was six, my parents already told me to make my own bed. Got me sidetracked. <laughs> it is good. I didn't even know there were Oscars yesterday. I'm completely out of touch with that. I don't know who this is. Is this this isn't Jaden? Jaden's older than that. I wonder if Jaden was there though. <laughs> Imagine seeing your dad stride up on stage and being like, "Bits, <laughs> fuck you." Oof. None of these are reactions. No. Oh, I was hoping it was real. This is so sad. Now nah, this, I didn't even know the Oscars were taking place. No clue. Do you guys still care about the Oscars, or is that something, because for the last couple of years, like, nobody I regularly talk to actually cares. I keep finding out every year on Reddit that they were there. Ugh. Yeah, this, he punches Chris Rock. He doesn't punch him. Come on, stop. Oh, wow! Wow! Stop. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Stop. Embarrassing the whole black community, yeah, right. If it ain't. And he thinks he's tough, right? We're gonna be fucking fighting. I don't think so. I think Chris Rock. Yeah. Did the right thing here. Yeah, this too. My sister, I'm playing Elden Ring as well. And I make it a point to find all the maps because. It's really annoying if you're looking for something to not have the whole picture. My sister doesn't do that. And I don't want to spoil it for her either. <laughs> like, it's very easy to see on the map where you can find the map. So I just sort of went to all of them. My sister has found this area like this. So huge. And I don't want to tell her either. I want to spoil it. This is the first meme I saw when I wake up. Woke up. Schmack. Schmack. I am wondering like what the after party looked like. If everybody just sort of swarmed Will. Like what the fuck was that? And like what people's opinions were there. Curious. Because the internet is of course like everybody just randomly spouts bullshit. Including me. 
<laughs> and Ethan Klein, apparently. Will Smith won and got a standing ovation. I'm in awe the show went on like nothing happened. Will Smith punched the comedian. He didn't punch him for doing his job. He's a celebrity in the front row of the Oscars where it's normal to be roasted, bad taste or not. That is true. It is normal to be roasted there. That is quite the crazy event, like the Oscars in general, you mean. It is. Like the Met Gala, oh my god. Just <laughs> so much money in one place, like holy fuck. <sighs> yeah, what do I say? This slap is fucked up. This dude's just trying to give him his chicken nuggets. They don't have fucking chicken nuggets or something. And this dude just slaps him. What the fuck is wrong with people? If you end up on the ground there, you are absolutely in the right because fuck this guy. Like I'm assuming the title is correct. That's about nuggets. And I'm sure because people are idiots and they actually do stupid shit like this over nuggets. Oof. This video hurts. That's cool. I like Hans Zimmer. I like his music. Back while doing it that way, but just from seeing the quick history, I'm not too shocked it happened. Nah. And like, Will Smith is not the most easygoing person, I guess. And fair enough, because he has been a industry standard for the past 20 years or something. Like, he has a long history, a lot of work. And if you already warn a person that you shouldn't make jokes about that, and he does it anyway, it was a very short one, sure. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not shocked either. However, he could have just gone up to him afterwards. He didn't have to make a fucking public point. And also slapping someone usually not the best idea. If Chris Rock now ends up suing him, the evidence will uh, not be difficult to come by. Yeah, I mean, I guess tensions are already high, right? He is there. He has a chance of, of winning an Oscar. I'd be nervous, and then this motherfucker comes up. <laughs> already wound up a bit. Bump. A lot of private issues already and just boiled into public. Yeah, that may be it. I, I'm not entirely sure, but I do think I've heard other instances of Chris Rock having trouble with people. And yeah, in this case, there was history as well. It's not good for his PR. <laughs> Fuck. This one too. I'll pause it. He has upgraded. He's leveled up. Nah, man. His publicist immediately coming up to him. Speaks for itself. It was funny, though. The immediate... What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah. This video speaks for itself. I'm gonna explain it anyway. This guy keeps filming Bottas when he's drinking coffee, wanting to give him a fist bump. Previously, Bottas fell for it and fist bumped him with the coffee and spilled it. He has learned. Yeah, everyone is posting about slapping. Haha! <laughs> but that second of realization, that's so good. And there's the instance. And that smile of him. Well, that happened. <laughs> I fucking love this video. Aha! <laughs> oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this is all... Yeah, that's funny. This is funny. You're seeing shit-stirring bitchy comedians get their comeuppance. If you're on Will Smith's side of that, you're a fucking faggot. Someone makes fun of your girlfriend's disease making her ugly, just sit there and laugh. You're a pussy if you don't do anything. 
fucking 4chan, but... Like, this is also why I thought it was about cancer. Making fun of your girlfriend's disease sounds like cancer. Hair loss sounds like cancer, but... I don't know. This one, another one was caught. She sacrificed her grandmother. Whoop. <laughs> I wonder if these are staged. Alright, so apparently to the guys in America, he was in prison. They could have closed fist him in the face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one would have been upset. Everyone would have understood exactly. I think you have the talent to be a good breeder. Why, thank you, random lady on an island all alone. What is this video from, by the way? And also, who is this guy? I know he's a footballer. Is it Messi? This is Messi, right? Is it Messi? Nah, it's not Messi. No. Who is he? Do you know? And also, in what context do you film something like this? Take a little sip and you do wink. What the fuck? <laughs> I feel dirty. In general, am I the only one who thinks it's really annoying when people just post random pictures of their pet and are like, help me name him? It might just be me, but I hate it. It's turned into me. Yeah, I see it everywhere. Yeah, but it's weird. Asked me to take care of a kitten for a week and then ghosted me. Okay, but if you know her address, maybe she brought it to him instead of the other way around. I just skip by it really fast. Can't deal with the wink. Gotta get that out my screen. Usually same, but I will sacrifice myself here. Well, that happened. Will Smith got mad. Yes, he did. Deja vu. I have been in this space before. Got him. He's billowing smoke, too. Like, what is he doing? Ah, oh, trying to... Get out of there, I guess. Fucking... What's the wolf show? What's it called? Most animal things I skip by. Why? The style projector. Yeah, it's very good. Nice aim. Plop. Plop. <laughs> In Dutch, we'd say sword zoekt sword. Meaning sort of kind drifts towards kind. And I guess that's what happened. Plop. Nice. But what the hell is this show called? I know it's referencing like the single fucking thing. The one with the British people. Downton Abbey. Thank you, thank you. Banana? I don't know. This is true. Oblivion level scaling fucking sucks. Uh, Downton Abbey. Do you know it? It's pretty good. It has a good cast too. Maggie Smith plays a very prominent role. And never really got into it, but my girlfriend is. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not very fast paced though. It's very much kind of mundane drama. But it's a good watch. It would probably be right up my alley because I always loved Pride and Prejudice as well. I still have the uh, the box set, actually. It is hyper-British. It is, like, just before the Industrial Revolution. I'm not sure what... Might actually be... I don't know. Let me look it up. Uh, set in what year? Nineteen twenty-seven. So right after the First World War. Yeah. It's like it's that transition between old country gentry, uh, noble men, people, and the sort of the transition to the 
rise of the common people, let's say. So this estate, like, it is becoming more and more difficult to manage the estate and the show sort of follows the family and everyone around it in, in those troubles. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, Maggie Smith is in it, so that is hyper British. But then this thing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Oblivion. I played it so much that it's probably not even healthy, but that's fine. Oblivion level scaling fucking sucks. If you start on max difficulty and you want to kill a crab of all things, like they are tiny and very cute, and you want to punch them, it takes like six hours to do it. Oblivion gameplay, pretty good. Think Skyrim, it's basically the same. Oblivion music, very good. Howard Shore, I think, is the composer. He did Skyrim too. Jeremy Soul, who's Howard Shore then? What did he do? What do I know this guy from? Oh, he did the Lord of the Rings. My bad. Jeremy's soul, it is really good. And the lore and writing is very good. But then the characters look like... <laughs> uh, dumb. Dunmer. In different games, really. I'm fucking up. There you go. I actually found it. How about that? Morrowind, you know, kind of a serious guy, has a scar, looks kind of badass. Oblivion, wow! Rainbows and sunshine! And then in Skyrim, they actually look like this. I'll see if I can find a in-game picture. Because it is actually... Yeah, this is the concept art. <laughs> And then, and then, they they look like this. Very cute. Why are these pictures so small? But there you go. And I mean, the mechanics are all wonky and bugs galore, but if you sort of see through that, it's all, it's very good game. <laughs> uh, sure. The Binding of Isaac, that game. I can't play it. I can't play the games like this. Because it's too difficult. I also have no idea about the context. I don't know if this is the final boss or like a famous boss or anything. But nice job, I guess. Thanks. Cats. Yeah, why do you skip by cats and animals in general? Most of the time it's blatant karma whoring. So, I mean, I get it. Like here, I have a puppy. Ta-da! I have a puppy. Cool. I put a cute tie on him with lobsters. Actually, that's pretty neat. Never mind. I fucking hate children. They got me for a second. So sad. Oh. This is a cosplay. That's pretty sick. How big picture. That is really good. Nice. Cosplay for me is something that's very ambivalent. Good cosplay, 
hacking amazing. I can watch that all day. It's really good. And then on the other side, there's like really lazy or just bad cosplay. I can't deal with it. I do not like it. We'll have to see how the new Witcher turns out, though. Like, I get it. <laughs> but if it follows the same path as Cedri, as like, like... Cyberpunk. Yeah. It's okay. Pretty good take. We are short staffed because no one wants to work as the employment version of girls don't like nice guys. Yeah. You're not as nice as you think you are. I think this is kinda it though. Yeah. Hey Rays. I'm doing well. I had a pizza for lunch, that's always a good day. I went shopping with my dad earlier today and had a nice sleep. This is great. I've actually slept well this night. This is the first time in like a week. <laughs> Chunky boy. But yeah, how you doing? Know we were looking at the Chris Rock on Reddit. Damn. Just as human. This is actually true. In the Netherlands, we cannibalized a former tyrant too. <laughs> it's a disgusting piece of history. <laughs> Pizza for lunch is always nice. Yep. It's either really good or pure depression. This time it was good. There's also the difference between hot pizza for lunch and cold pizza for lunch. It's disgusting, but kind of understand that we ate the guy, the brothers, the wit. I'll actually look it up in case you guys don't believe me. John the wit controlled the Dutch political system from around... Shortly before his murder and cannibalization by a pro-monarch mob in 1672. There you go. It's on Wikipedia. Italian sushi. I mean, if you roll it up, why not? I'm thinking you can also put fish on pizza. Though I'm kind of ambivalent about that. It never smells nice. Like salmon on pizza with like spinach or something is pretty good. But it doesn't smell good. And anchovies, like anchovies are kind of good. But then you have this one bite and it's just really salty and intensely anchovisy. And then the rest of the pizza or like the rest of the slice, let's say, you don't have anything. Except for that one bite that's extremely salty. It's not worth it. Yeah, this is true. You can't really let fish go cold. Unless you have smoked it. Like cold smoked salmon is so good. I don't mean cold smoked, but you know what I mean. Oh, oh smoked salmon. Yeah, not this stuff, because that is still kind of raw. It isn't, but I mean this stuff. That you can buy in like vacuum sealed packets. Oh, it's so tasty. I could actually just have that as a snack. I'd be fine with that. Is addicted to that stuff. I get that. Oh, you could make like a yogurt dipping sauce. That'd be really good. Some yogurt dill, a little bit of lemon and olive oil. I'll have that. Oh. 
I had a friend who like made it himself. It was a kind of a barbecue freak. And then every once in a while I'd get like a slice piece. Lovely. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I'm just going to scroll. Do a cooking stream against them. I have been thinking about that. Yeah. Because there's a couple of things that I want to make. Like I can show you guys how to make fried lentils. I came up with a recipe that's really good. Um, and it's not, it doesn't take long, so I can just show you how I do that in fun, nice time. It's really nice with a little bit of onion, lemon, basil, and then just fry it until it's crispy. But that's the secret process or it won't go crispy. So that's the stream. But I also want to make like a really big batch of slow simmered tomato sauce, kind of like what I did with the lasagna, but then just spaghetti sauce. Also really good. There's this, I have a cookbook from her. Ooh. This lady, Grand Magina, she has a YouTube channel where she shows how to make like authentic, according to her recipe, tomato sauce. It takes like five hours, but <laughs> worth it. Love tomatoes, the same. The lasagna was the best. Did you end up making it? Sweet. I'm guessing without the minced meat, but still. And it was something else that I was like, oh, I can make that too. But I've forgotten now. I'll remember it later, probably. So it's with cherry tomatoes. Ooh, nice. You know, um... If that it turns out to be a lot of work, like individual cherry tomatoes, I believe you shop at the Jumbo sometimes too, right? They have these cans of peeled small tomatoes. Also works. Yeah, I think I'm kind of done here. This fucking guy. This guy's name is Dan Pena. He is so weird. Wait, hold on. The way he talks to. Some little Jap man, and I can see some Bitcoin losers in the audience. It will never, ever, ever go back. And when it comes out, who's behind yeah. Bitcoin? And it's not some little Jap man in a cave. Bitcoin will go to zero. zero. This dude's not okay. Doesn't matter why. I'm telling you why. It's gonna happen. <laughs> if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> what the fuck? This dude supposedly makes billionaires, and apparently he actually does it by screaming at people. Like what he does is he has this coaching program where every week you have to check in with him, tell him how you're doing on the goals that you set when you were at a sort of hazing event at one of his castles or some shit. So like you set the goals, I want to build a company this size and I'm going to do it like this. And he's like, yeah, do it. And then every week you have to call the guy and he screams at you if you haven't done something that you were supposed to do. And he has these, he does these lectures where he just screams too. It's a very strange figure. And that's how he makes his money. He makes his money by telling other people how to make money. But yeah, I think that's kind of it. Not too much going on there. Um, gotta start up a game, I guess. That's kind of smart, not gonna lie. That's how it always works. Also, in the Volkskrant, we have these hacking advertisements, which I'm kind of not happy with, because the Volkskrant apparently is its supposed to be like one of the best newspapers in the Netherlands. And I feel like they should know better than to print this shit. But they supposedly... They have these adver adver advertisements, advertisements on how to make money day trading. 
and day trading is like the biggest scam. It's like, I will make money live during the course and prove that I know how to do it so that you guys can do it too. But I guarantee you, that guy makes more money telling other people how to make money day trading than he actually makes money with day trading. There is basically no way to actually... you know, predict the market, which is what this is based on. Because supposedly they know how to call the market. You don't. You fucking don't. All right. Now, cool thing. I got a bunch of games from Sean, from Mr. 24, among which Starbound. Which seemed like a really fun little game to try. So I'm going to start it up. And having gone to the Yumbo, I can get myself some jasmine tea in a bit as well. <laughs> it chuckles at me. This is kind of creepy. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so as far as I understand, this game is Terraria in space. Let me change the game, the, the category. Starbound. Yay. Save. Oh, I can create my character. All right, what is my species? My bird. Avians are a race of colorful bird folk whose tribal culture revolves around the worship of Cluex, the winged god of the Aether. Trained from birth to be fierce warriors who will protect their temples at any cost. All right, what's this? A race of highly intelligent primates. For millennia, the apex were close to human in appearance until a scientific breakthrough allowed them to trade physical devolution for intellectual evolution. So I guess these guys are really smart. Does that actually have different stats or something? I don't think so. In spite of their long and turbulent history, humans tend to possess a light-hearted and optimistic outlook towards life and the universe, except for the later generations. Humanity set about forming a society that would unite the people of the universe, the Terrene Protectorate. All right, that's creepy. Hello. Plays great value on ancestral tradition and take great comfort in the arts. Originally dwelling on land, their passive nature made them easy prey for the Florins. They were driven beneath the waves where they now thrive. Gas back people. All right. Don't be fooled by their peaceful appearance. Florins are known throughout the universe to be aggressive carnivorous hunters, not particularly inventive on their own. They're fond of stealing and adopting technology from people they've attacked. You can be a blue flower or a red flower. Nice. Okay. Are they actually naked? Or do they have underwear? They do have underwear. Um, I don't know. This one's kind of cool. Actually, nothing changes. What do you think, Ray? Should we be a bird? <laughs> this one looks kind of cool, though. Flower sounds interesting. Oh, now there's different. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> Porcupine. I don't. Goku. This is pretty sweet. I like like the 
turn back personality. Oh, it's just his stance. Or just normal. Silvari from Guild Wars 2. Maybe. You know that I never played Guild Wars. It was really big. In my school at some point, but... Silvari. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. The same sort of floral... Uh... Yeah. Leg wear. <laughs> no pants. Can't play it for some reason. Can't back into it like I used to. Uh, we're all getting old. When was that game released? I actually like this color. Play more Valheim and Elden Ring. <laughs> How do you find the new update from Valheim? I haven't really checked it out yet. That's cool. Should we match my own shirt? Let's go with blue. I like the look of him. What's casual? No need to eat, no death penalties. I should probably do that. It is so much better, for real. What did they add? Like, I know they added, like, frost caves. stretch. Did they add new building pieces and armor and stuff too? Got a server which is online 24-7 so we can play with a bunch. Fenrir armor and claws. Alright, hold on. You are so fast. I think I've seen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does look cool. Papa. I think you would like it. Probably. Like, maybe I should play, start a new game with Valheim. Start a new playthrough. The one I'm doing, like, it seems I've sort of done everything already. I haven't killed the final boss yet, but I mean... Whatever. I know what it looks like. I know how to beat it. It's not going to be that big of a deal. And with all the new updates, it's sort of like end game, and then you just backtrack to all the things that you haven't seen yet because of the updates. It's kind of like, hmm, whatever. So I am thinking of just starting a new game. It's always fun to watch you build. Noise. May do that then. Though, I'll have to see like what I want to build still. Another castle. <laughs> so many new furniture. Maybe I'll just build a manor this time, like a mansion, on top of a mountain. Oh, that'd be annoying though. We'll see. For now, I guess I'll just start. And this one. Oh. Effium. Apparently I'm, I'm called Effium. Works for me. Like, I do want to get a cup of tea in a second though. As I said, I have the nice jasmine tea again. And it'll be refreshing. Wake up. Coastal fortress for friends, they can use it. And they built a fortress in the mountains. Pretty sweet. I have a hula doll. 
Good morning, graduate. You have overslept. Press A or D to get out of bed. Or spacebar, apparently. Hover over it with your cursor and press E if you are awake enough to do so. I think you should try it. It's good. I gotta take a piss. Amazing. You can. Can I also wash my hands? It just opens the door. Okay. Is this... Hell yeah. She vibing. Goodbye guys, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Had enough for today already. Is it just a light? You can open the door back. I know. I'm just kidding. You know, when he lies in bed, he looks like Yogi. Can I play the guitar? I can sleep. Alright. Collect from your personal locker. It is quite impressive that you can so stay so serene when you're running so late. That's because I'm a plant. Okay, this is that. How do I equip it? Do I just drag it? Head armor. Chest wear. Switch it out. Probably a shortcut for this, but oh well. Graduation flyer. This flyer commemorates the protectorate's graduation ceremony. Oh my god, I got my degree. I'll be rich. Soon you'll be a real protector with your very own matter manipulator. It must be exciting. No. Not at all. You guys are just early. Next. Do I have money? I have 20. This all costs 20. I don't think I want anything right now. Swallowed my pixels. I call pixels. Good. The larger your screen, the more money you have. Hey yo. Frustrated. They have me sweeping the bridge every hour like I am a machine or something. No clue why. This is kind of cute. Nice tree. Do you talk? Let's. Except I can't. Goodbye. Yes, but you are in the way of the door. Eager, my very own matter manipulator. I figuratively cannot wait. This is a nice robe. Can I take that? Or cue lemonades for breakfast. Alright. <laughs> Sale alarms. I did. I take my degree. I'm so happy. My fellow protectors, today we come together to witness the protectorate grow. For over 500 years we have stood proud here on Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. Our task, to protect our fellow beings, to support, house and educate those that seek our aid, and to foster accord between those that aspire to it. How nice. I don't want to read all of this though. I'm sorry guys. We get a tool. The Matter Manipulator! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, not the intergalactic tentacles. Take the manipulator and run! Everyone's dead. Yay. And a pickaxe. Great. Oh, everyone's dead. This was supposed to be the best day of my life, Dad. You ruined it. Clear the dirt. Pew. It's hacking Minecraft. Well, more like Terraria. Oh. 
It's a shame the situation is so stressful, it might be relaxing. Let me take a seat. Can I now also, like, sort of place these blocks? Find a way over it, use space bar to jump up to higher platforms. Like here? Ah. This doesn't open. We must leave this planet immediately. Oh, look at how big those tentacles are. I didn't even see that. Oh no. I get nothing. It is huge. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Oh, yes! I have a cape now. Everything's better when you're wearing a cape. Soft block. Can't really do anything with this. It is true, though. Like, Depending on how I'm dressed, I feel very different about situations. Take all, I guess. Now I have money. What's this? A broken broadsword. Is this weapon? Head armor. No. Fancy cape. Yeah. I am ready to destroy the tentacle balls. I wish. It's the top of the screen. What is an action bar? Ah. Alright. So I hack. I smack the tentacle. The tentacle smack me. Ha ha ha. I was Chris Rock, oh wow. Take all, I got toilet paper. And a health pack. Congratulations on your graduation. I do hope I got my diploma or this was all for nothing. <laughs> Alright, we are bound for the stars, let's go. Is this where I land? Is this like my temporary sleep? Oh, it's my pet. I was ready to kill it. I am Sail, your ship-based artificial intelligence lattice. I manage the maintenance of your ship. Also programs offer information and advice. Subsequently annihilated. I am dead. It is cute. Schnoodle. Our location is currently unknown. On an unknown world, the ship is heavily damaged and we are unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface using the teleporter. Alright, what do I get? A reward bag. Excited. I have no clue how to beam down them. All systems offline. That sound bit from like Subnautica jumped in my head. What is all this? Canned food? I should probably take all of this. And my mission. Although I don't know how to use it. This is the tab for food, alright. This is um, furniture? Yes. And building materials. All right. So I'm supposed to beam down. I don't know how to do that. But I love her. She's yellow. She matches my cape. And she has a little bow tie. Oh, wait. This is the beamer, isn't it? Hang on. I don't know what I did to generate hearts, but that's okay. Oh, it's very dark. I don't like that. And I feel like I can fall in there. She has cute little leaf ears. She matches me. I too have leaf ears. Planting them is on tilled soil, watering them until they grow. The tools you need can be built at a foraging table. 
Alright. Cobblestone. Can I carry a torch? Also, how do I open my inventory? With I. Alright. Can I... Hold it? Don't think so. I don't know what this is. It feels like I'm placing something now. But I did. Ah, right. You can select the cobblestone and... Cape made with the protectorate flag. Cool. There. Oh, the pickaxe is the tool for the thing I have. Cool. I feel like I should explore a little bit. See what else is here. No, I guess I should also follow the advice of my little friend saying that I should toil some soil. Oh, it's a sleeping bag. I have a camp. Sick. Okay, that's nice. I was hoping I would have some sort of light here. Aside from the torches that I can, I guess, place like this. Yes. Can I also pick them up again? Just like this. Yes, okay. So I need a table. How do I craft a table? Wood, I'm guessing. I played Terraria ages ago with my sister and I completely sucked at it. The great many uses. I suggest you kill additional trees and explore your crafting menu. <laughs> Let's... I'm gonna go on a genocide. Although maybe I should not destroy the trees that give me cover. from the harsh, dark reality that is this world. Yay. Sounds so wrong. That's it. Hold on. You mean the bloop bloop bloop? I have no idea what else that could be, right? <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. Doesn't sound like that when I do it. So what else is in here? It's a cave, but... What is this? Just background stuff. <laughs> Too well raised and nothing dirty at all. Oh. Ow! Mm, I can't use this, okay. So I need to... Place some stuff here. Should do it. Yeah, yeah, cool. And if I just select the wood, does that allow me to do anything? Yeah. Archaic energy source on this planet. A 32% chance that it is worth investigating. 98% chance you have nothing better to do. That's not true. I can build a table. But uh, how do I do that? Is it in my menu? Like here. Sapling. 
No. Good for building simple structures. You guys think I should build a house? I should probably build a house, right? So I guess I will destroy these trees. Make myself a nice little... Uh, if I can. All right. Because I'm guessing I can't walk through this. No. Can I build it and then remove a couple of pieces? Vielleicht. Hey, oh yes. Nice. Can't believe that worked, but at least I'll be dry now. <laughs> if everything goes according to plan. I can also get this seed. Yeah, corn. Nice. I love corn. But only in things. Corn on the cob is not my thing. Are these snails, my friends? Oh, the neighbors are fighting outside again. Nice. Okay. Do I have like a recipe book or something? And I should also find the archaic energy source. Is it this way? I am out of dirt. Hey. Woo, starboard. Yeah. started super chill soundtrack yeah can you guys hear the music it is nice but a shame if it's just quiet for you this goes nowhere music is light and fluffy great like the perfect pancake. Oh, it's a disgusting little... I'll kill it. Let me go kill it. I have a big ass sword, that should be good. Oh. I got a big soul. More corn. I'm not sure how I till the earth. Is this how I till the earth? And then I get the corn seed. I do. This is not how it works, okay. What did that do? Okay, just get me dirt. good. I think my stomach is gonna be upset today. And it's my own fault. 
I had fried eggs this morning because I was really hungry. When I just eat porridge, it's not good. I get re I get cranky and kind of shaky. So I had eggs this morning. Then of course the pizza for lunch and then for dinner we're gonna have <laughs> fresh fries. <laughs> Get out of here. Piece of shit. What's this? Ooh, there's a structure. Luna Stiletto. And I got an oboe. I got an instrument. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can burrow into this. I feel the same. Went to a walk this week and I ate way too much. Paying the price today. <laughs> Salty, tasty food, yep. That'll get you. Destroyed. What is this? Fragment. These are useful objects. I estimate that you will require at least 20 of them. To do what? Oh, did I destroy the light source? Whoops. But I have torches. I can place one. Here. And I guess here. There you go. Nice and cozy. I feel like I should maybe just move in here, but we'll see. Oh, ow. Shit, I died. Just at work being busy. As I do. No, not my pixels. Hey, snake. Sorry, didn't mean, no. Okay, what do I still have in my inventory? Got a banger. Damage per swing 2.7. Six. I don't know, I think I'll use the sword for now. An oboe is pretty dusty. How do I use this? Flashlight. Oh, I have a flashlight. That's good. So I've got this stuff. Oil lantern. Nice. I guess I have to fill these. Or maybe not. I don't know. If not, that's nice. They seem to give a lot of light. Alright. Let's go back. See if we can take revenge, but he seems to have killed me pretty quick. Ah. Thank God. You can't just sleep till morning or something, can you? Can't skip time here. Mm -hmm. Flashlight though, that's nice. Build a pretty sizable city. Ooh. Is it the same as in Terraria where you can sort of gather oh, uh, citizens and stuff? Ow. I have the high ground, why is he killing me? Update and it wiped my save. <laughs> that is sad. Oh, sorry. Some plant fiber. This can be woven into useful fabrics at the spinning wheel. Great. I have my trusty cape, though I don't need any other fashion statements. Ew! Slime. It is dead. And also, are there any cool bosses in this game? What is this? It's a Pokemon. It warps. I gotta eat or something. How do I eat? Um, boil it, fry it, throw it at a bride.
great. I have no food. Where did all my food go? Did I drop it? Tons of cool bosses. Yeah, it seems like a game where there's just a ton of stuff. Okay, let's try this again without dying. This worked out. Oh no. It didn't. You got my food. How is he hitting me? I don't get it. I don't get it. Fuck! Upset. This is the worst investment of my life, maybe ever. At least my snake loves me. Hello? Yes. Hi, yo. I am back. I don't know how to hurt that guy. I guess I should just jump down and then sort of whack at him. Don't have a projectile launcher, don't have food. Get my co-worker back. Yes. See, there's all this stuff here. Oh, did I miss you too? It's Zuba. Colbert, sorry. Oh. Ah, there you are, you dingus. I killed. Oh, there's another one. Kill! Kill! He's dead. I really hope there's not another one. Because it will take me off guard and I will die. Okay, so it seems I'm good for now. Let's get with this stuff first. Got a chair. That's nice. Share the load. Oh damn, this place goes on. It's like a mine shaft or something. Go back to my ship. Little people have been popping off this morning a bit. How do you mean? If you can get a bed, you will heal much faster. All oh, right, I do have the uh, sleeping bag. I'm almost at full health now. Gotta be on the service to go to your ship. Okay. So what I can do is sort of... There has to be a quicker way to assign these. Come on then. Jump in. Yeah, bitch! The man. This should do it. Oh, maybe I can. Build a table with timber. That might help.
is that some more banks? I don't think I want to fight that thing. I don't understand why I can't sort of hit continuously. Is there a stamina bar I'm missing? Or something. Heyo, it's one of those guys. I don't think so. No. Hurt. These guys hurt. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Added quite a bit. Well, I'll be curious. I gotta eat though. Don't have food. Okay. Gotta be careful not to use too much, though. I only have four cans or something. Gotta till my soil. Oh, nice. But I have no idea how. I guess I'll just have to make tools or something. Gotta make a table. I hope the timber will work. Oh shit, oh shit. No reflexes for this game yet. Spanish. Noob. I think I should go back to the server and sort of see what I can do with the stuff I got. Flash knife. Instead of dirt. Yeah. showed what you needed to do. Yeah, I gotta find the archaic energy source, and I'm guessing this is a sort of compass that... I am in the way. Like, I'm guessing this here is a compass that points to where I need to be. Is this an enemy? But it looks so peaceful. It is gone. Okay, my health is full, so that's good. Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, trusty sleeping bag. So nice. Um, okay. Let's make this area of land like flat. Let's see if we can do stuff with that. Sort of raise it one level so I have a little bit more to work with here. I'm out of dirt. Doesn't matter. There's so much. Yay. Now then, how to till. And also, I have timber, 32 pieces. Oh, it's actually just blocks. So I'm guessing it doesn't work for tables. 
Did I miss something in the tutorial? Craft, crafting, hey. Inventor's table, there we go. Craft. Hey, did you just craft an inventor's table? Yes, 7.2 better bridge the chance of survival. Holding control that allows you to place one block at a time. Okay, that's good to know. Guessing a furniture. There we are. I put it in my house. Such as it is. I use the table to make the table. Sick. Okay, so the wooden workbench, I think, is what I need. Let's just make one, we'll see. Gotta make a hoe. Gotta become not maidenless. Does it matter if I place it outside? I guess we'll find out. A tungsten door, damn. Copper ceiling light. So yeah, I can make a fancy bed here. Wooden platforms. Kinda just want to get some food production going though. And there's nothing here that I can do. Maybe the foraging table? Spinning wheel, I'm guessing it's not. Yeah, for hunting, mining, and farming. There we go. Please. Um, yeah, it automatically sort of selected. Isn't it? This has to be placed inside, I think. I don't get it. Do we need space? There it is. All right. Aho! I need timber, copper bar, and string. Alright, and weapons. Hunting bow. Hunting, yeah. Wooden watering can. Copper bar? I did get ore. Primitive furnace. Used to turn ores and other materials into crafting ingredients. What do I need? And a campfire. Right. I guess I gotta get cobblestone. What is this? A four sword? Oh, sick! Got a big ass weapon. Didn't even notice. Let's sort of swap those, or I'll get confused. Wapa Damage uh, You know what? Sure. I'll get confused, who cares? Oh. Wapa. Unstoppable. Now this, I think, was cobblestone. Hey, oh yeah. And I'll need mud, easy to come by, and copper. No, campfire. How does one make a campfire? You 
should be enough. I'm guessing a campfire just takes wood, right? Nice. Thank God I'm a plant. Snake, I'll be right back. I just sort of graft myself. I take a piece and wait till I grow back. Look at all this stuff! Okay. Light. Nothing. Campfire. Oh, sick. You can just cook on a campfire. Okay. I'll make some popcorn. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. And boiled rice is probably a good thing to have. Hope it doesn't get moldy. How does one make a campfire? Crafting menu. Campfire. There we go. It seems you have discovered fire. You are the 714th billionth person to do so. Well done! Nice. So now all I need is mud. Right. Stone block, cobblestone, I have plenty of mud. I have... Oh, this is dirt. Mud is something different. What is the difference? Mud. Is this mud? It looks slightly different. Oh no, this is what I placed myself. This block maybe. Mud! Yeah! Alright. I only needed four, I think. So it should be good. Don't bother me. Furnace. What do I need? Cobble. I need two more cobblestone. Okay. I'll, I'll just do it. Place corn with ferns. I think that's good. Yay! <laughs> I start at the end. I immediately have gold. Let's make it. I don't know if there's like an intergalactic Amazon or something, but I can sell it probably. Put it on eBay. Or Etsy. I crafted it myself. Jump at that oh, So I need copper ore in order to find... To start farming. Where would one find it? Is this a potato? It is a potato. But if... You boil it something, stick it in the stew is the description for... Potato, alright. If you do a lot of reference for one, you can't have can't not have them for the other. So or I'm guessing I will have to dig or something.
Can I get some loot? Fine. Something. What is this? For instance. Dirt. Plant fiber. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some silent. Hopefully. It truly is. Where the fuck are you? Doesn't matter. I was looking for ore, not silly creatures. Nothing better than after a long day when you can finally just sort of sit down in your bed. There's no sound. So this looks like ore. I don't think it's copper, but I can see. You discovered coal! Ah! I wanna be home. Playing games. I get you there. What the hell is this? A pixel container. Sweet. Money is always good. Um. Self. Okay, but like the things in dirt is ore. Now that I know what it looks like. There's just nothing here. Alright. Oh, we should just sing it, but now I have to kill it. Kind of feel that how well. Start more Project Zomboid playing VR in Lost Ark. I mean Project Zomboid is an investment. It is not exactly something that you just casually turn on and <laughs> play. This must be copper, alright. I should have to come to it. I'm doing so bad in terms of health. Probably fine. Is this dude overpowered? He's got like an eggshell. He's got armor. And I'm almost dead. Oh no. Oh no! Get out of here. I will not be killed by fucking dough balls. I was killed by a dough ball. <gasps> Unless you play with one life, yeah. <laughs> you can play 20 times in 20 minutes. And that is, you know, generous. Snake. I have stuff. Game harder than Elden Ring. If. Give me back my stuff, damn it. Did you guys see Donkey's uh, review of it? It is quite spot on. And if you guys haven't seen it, we can watch it later, it's funny. Also his video on the game itself, like not the review video. The dough ball of death. DOD. Um, do I have enough copper actually? I need four pieces if I remember right. Where does this show up? Just here? No. Five copper ore. Alright, let's try it. Let's see how far we get. We might be able to make a hoe. Things are looking up. I wonder what percentage my chances of survival will increase this time. You got a hoe! Plus 20%. Yes. I smelled it first. Stop. It takes two ore for one thing. How many did I need? I do actually need four. 
Yeah, okay. So I need four more pieces of wood. Let's find it. This is not copper, but it is something. Iron, sick. Come at me then. There's a piece folder. Never mind. No. I'm gonna just. That damaged me. I did a Mario. Bullshit. Oh, it's circular. I am. No. Never mind. This is a different cam. I will sleep. Do they bother me in my sleep? They do. Hi. I'll just sleep it off. It's fine. Oh, he comes back. Nope. Great. Can't see any copper here. That's a bit of a shame. Bitch. This is a flower. That looks like a machine of some sort. Oh. Hey, who are you? I love the random monsters in this game. What the fuck is going on? I'm just trying to talk to this person. Call if I can mine, find a bunch down in the old mine. You should check it out. Alright. If I'm trying to search you for core fragments, I may advise adequately arm yourself first. They all have a charm. This is true. Like, they are cute. Could tend to sleep back and take it with you, I think. She does not care. I mean, she's gone now, so. I guess I'll take a look. Can I break this stuff? I can. What does it give me? A traveler's meter. Ow! Ah, fuck! Damn it! I fell right in the middle. This is dumb. I'm back, Snake. Can I just sort tour stuff? No, because I have nothing on me at the moment. Okay. Well. Owned. Yeah, they're very cute. <laughs> a gang bang. Yeah, they gang up on me and bang me on the head, and then I die. Classic. At least I keep my weapon. That is good. Don't even try. It. Ow! Holy fuck, what's this? It's a dinosaur! It kills me immediately. Do I still have my poofy rice? I could really use some boiled rice. Save me! I was hoping I would heal faster than they would damage me. It does not seem to be. Also, why does the flimsy tent not save me? I am upset. Nighttime is scary. Yep, there's slimes everywhere. Dude, a couple of days back I was having nightmares. All night. And then I woke up and I was thirsty and I had to get water. And I still wasn't entirely awake. <laughs> and I had to traverse our dark attic. <laughs> It was not good. A good time to go down and to die, you mean, yeah. What is this? Is this cotton? I guess it actually is. Cool. 
pearl peas. Oh god damn it. They're everywhere. Okay. Now at least I can get some health back. I like how the icon for the game is a penguin too. Pain in my shoulder. This is better when I stand. Okay, there we are. Who's ready for the revenge? Look at how many there are! Still got an awesome desk. I do. I'm actually really happy with it. The more so because my sister was like messing with her desk yesterday and it was such a pain in the ass. She had to adjust the height, but it's like set. Uh, what the hell do you call it? Legs. So you had to sort of disassemble the entire desk, move them, and rethink, refasten them. Really puts into perspective how useful one of these is. And yeah, this is one of the reasons I wanted a desk like this. I tend to get a pain in my shoulder from mousing in the position that I was in. And just being able to stand helps with it a lot. Yeah, it really is annoying. Also because she has a lot of stuff. And only a small room. Not a whole lot of space to adjust. Because you know, if you have a lot of stuff in your desk, including like audio monitors and stuff, taking everything off of it, and it is heavy. Pain in the butt, and then you have no space at all to do anything else, because your room is tiny. But then you have to sort of maneuver around an entire desk. Not, not the best. I could have just taken this tent, now I stole the one from the lady. What are you? Can I kill that or is it way above my level? And also, can I jump back up? It would be cool to... Uh... Are they blowing themselves up? I cannot make that, okay. Let me get dirt. I have to get dirt. That hit for half my health. <laughs> but I think I can hit him like this. Yeah. Get out of here. Without skill and time. Jeez. Hey. That's how you do it in real life too. Why would you risk your life? That's just dumb. Oops. Clicked on somewhere. Ah, oh, come back! You're not dead yet! No honor. Anyway, I was looking for copper. Ah, he's back. Get over here. Piece of shit. I'll kill your children after you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not in front of the children. Yes, in front of the children. Fuck your children. 
I got 20 core fragments for that. Sick. Oh, I guess this does it. And this is an old mine you'd expect there to be. Over here somewhere. The children must see the harsh reality of the real world. Exactly. I'm not about that cuddling bullshit. Except I kind of am in real life. Not cuddling, but like... Like, yeah, the world is a harsh place. So let's... Teach our children that there are also, you know... Safe spaces, let's say. And if your parents aren't that... What is... Everyone needs safe spaces. Okay, but this is just like dungeons sort of loop back on each other. That's kind of cool. Ow. Get out of here. Yes. Oh, it's Golbet. Come to the light where I can see what I'm saying. Oh no, they're killing me. Why did that not hit? If there's one more and it kills me, I'm gonna be so upset. I am good. I need to eat now. What is this? I'm gonna eat my rice because it seems tasty and there's a need to eat. Um, bye. I wait. Yeah, okay, this is pretty fast. Better. <sighs> Hope you guys like my sweater, by the way. Is it, is it, turns out I really like water zips. Bought a bunch of them. Can't get much closer than that. Nope. <laughs> I got lucky. I really should have changed my name though. Effium. What the hell? I was typing. There we go. Looks good. Nice. 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 I just got the same one in a bunch of different colors. Kinda lazy like that. But it makes deciding on an outfit much easier. And they suit me, like my neck is quite long. This one sort of makes it look more in proportion. <laughs> Not that I'm too worried about it, but it helps. Every little bit helps. I'm a giraffe! Oh, this is an inspect thing. Lauren likes muddy mess. All right. Box, yeah. Smash mini pot. Uh, it's really soft too. It's cotton with cashmere. Wow. Oh no! Oh no! Get out of here. I'm gonna die from this. Oh no, I'm actually gonna die from this. Fuck. I was hoping I could still escape. Does that mean I have to kill the big guy again? Ripper the pip. At least it's daytime, so the walk back should be easier. Got him. I like how the holes sort of fill up. And I'm already almost dead. I should hotkey food. If I have any on me. Uh, 
this is all non crooked. Alright. I'll take a quick nap before I go in. And maybe I should try out the dagger. I have it. Yeah. Oops. Wrong hole. Ha! Oh, you're the person. Never mind. There's a slime. Like, if this dagger still stuns them, but I'm faster, that's probably going to be better. I guess I'll try it on this slime. Seems to. Oh, do enemies stay dead? That'd be so good. Bunch of stuff here and there. Things do stay dead on the ground. Nice. I kinda just wanna get that stuff. Oh, okay, hold on. I have health. Instead of food. Better. Munch? That's way faster. Much better. And it restores a lot. Great. Ooh, range sucks. This is way better! Right, fast weapons are the way to go, it seems. There's still something that spits at me. I'll use one more. You know what? Maybe it's not hostile. Let's try to keep a positive outlook. And what is this? Is this moss or is it some sort of ore? I'm guessing moss. Can't even get it. Can I swim? Hello. <laughs> Look at his face! I can swim, but it's kind of awkward, okay. Made it to the other side at least. I am not finding a whole lot of over. This is a shame, and also I don't know how I can get back up now.
Pixels. Great. If I ever end up getting out of here, that'll be so useful. What are you? Is it a snake? No idea. Is it like me? Creature born of the earth. Okay, I want to get back up there because I'm starting to get lost. And I don't think that that is a good idea. I only have two dirt left. Oh, control click is... Swim. And it wasn't a hollow bells here. Okay. Because copper ore apparently also appears much closer to the surface. No real need to go this deep. And I think this is one actually. Yes. Nice. Maybe I picked a couple up and I didn't notice. Let me check. Copper ore. I only have one. Shame. This thing seems interesting though. I'll try to get that. I'm curious if I can just sort of dig towards it. Seems I can. Trench warfare. Destroy her walls. Just go around. And I guess I can check this way too. Because who knows, there might be more. Apparently not sentence. Hello. Getting to check the crates. That's good stuff. A Molotov! Nice! Pixels, always good. That looks interesting. Ah, manipulate the module, I think it was. Smashing. Is there nothing here? Is this not like the opening? Oh, I thought it was. This is where I'm supposed to go. It's just a creep. make me wonder how deep I can go and if there's like 
stuff there. Like lava or some nether region. This is for cold, I think. Throwing dart. I just got that from the ground. Flowers. No. Shame. Oh, hold on, I missed this one. There we go. Some copper. Now we only need two more pieces. Iron then, right? Yes. Some more. Treasure chest. I do the article. Never mind. Let's get the chest. Shit. Now let's see. Control doesn't seem to shift. Nice. So I can check. Is there any copper here? Don't think so. In that case, I think I want to move back to base a little bit. Before it gets night and I thought I'd fucking die. Chomp you with your hair, that's weird. Munch. Didn't get anything. I need copper. Ha! <laughs> Psych! Oh, right. Guess I'll sleep here. Can I pause? Does this pause? It does. Okay. Good to know. Because I'm kind of thirsty. I was planning on getting some tea earlier. Kind of forgot about that. Hey, you know what? I guess I will. 
Guys, I'll be right back. Gotta get a snack too. Before my uh, French fry dinner, Lamau. A uh, couple of minutes. back. Now what I have for a snack? It is pure sugar with peanuts. Really good. It's sort of like cookies. Really cheap. I think they're typically Dutch. We call them kletskoppen. Welcome back. Thank you. Wah! Emerges aggressively. Those things are good. Isn't gonna attack me? No. Good. Um, shift. That's really cool, actually. When I was, what? I don't know, young, doesn't even matter. Like, I was staying over at a friend's, and he had parents who had a restaurant. So it's like, okay, a good friend is coming over, we'll have kind of fancy dinner. So they made steak, which was really good. And then as a dessert, they had these cookies, but with custard cream in the middle. Whipped cream on top and with ice cream as a dessert. So really simple, it doesn't cost anything almost. But it looked fancy and it tasted good. Oh, it's a fucking dinosaur. Oh, no. Get out of here. <laughs> Don't want to be It 
seems like they chase you pretty far, though. They do. Fuck you, dick! The weakness you are feeling is likely due to hunger. Oh no, and I'm hungry too. Oh no, it's another one! This is bad. At least I'm back at my base. If I die, I die, but... Uh, can I like sort of eat this? Yeah, and I'm dead. Okay, that was a waste. Good point. Everything tastes good with custard. Snake. Ta-da! That's why um, Tom Pusa are like my favorite. Little pastry. I'll show you guys what those are. Let's see. I gotta get. I gotta get a good picture. I don't know why I find pictures of miniskirts when I search for Tom Pusin. Ah, this is okay. Like it's basically crisply fried puff pastry with a little bit of sugar glaze on top. And just thick custard cream in the middle. It's really simple. Also really cheap. Which is probably why they are so famous in the, in the Netherlands. And they're also really tasty. Love to eat layer for layer. Exactly. That's the best way. And everybody always saves like the sugar glaze bit for last. Which is in my opinion the wrong way to eat them. Because the best part is just the cream. Haha, <laughs> we're stuck. Dehydrated than I thought. <coughs> and sometimes when then you take a sip and it just whoop, you feel your cells sort of sucking up the moisture. I'll make the iron too while I'm here. Four is the max. I am standing. How are you doing, Alan? Already see more moist. Mm -hmm. My cheeks puff up and everything. Oh, I can make paper. Moist. No! I panicked. It was dumb. I'm not entirely sure I like this weapon. It worked really well when there were like a million enemies, but like this, I think the bigger one is better. Where is it? Where is it? I'm not moist, just wet. <laughs> Alan is a slimy boy.
Oh, there's a dinosaur. God damn it. Stop. Stop with the dinosaurs. Haha! <laughs> Idiot. Man. How do you find copper in this economy? It's like it's dark, so I can't see anything really. Why aren't you sitting down? Well, I was sitting down, but like my shoulder started to hurt a bit. And I got a fancy sit-stand desk, the one that you can sort of adjust in height. Like, look at this shit. Whee! Whee! Don't know if you can see the difference, but my chair is underneath my desk now. It's to save space, so I can't take it down from me. Rough Sunday night. Oh! I was the one laying down. Insect leather. Nice. Let's see if the dinosaur is still there. I've gone farther that way than the other side. We'll see. And I did find more copper on the other side. Fuck! I was not paying attention to my health. God damn it. I am upset. I am so mad. Gonna kiss my snake. When is the new Minecraft Let's Play? Ooh. Don't know really. I did start a new game. Just because I didn't really know what to do with the castle still. And I was thinking like, oh, maybe Minecraft would be nice to start with. As sort of a uh, return to the classics, let's say. But I don't know what to build. Although I could do a... I could do a survival run and just like sort of try to finish the, the storyline of the game for as much as there is one. Like actually go for beating the Ender Dragon. But I suck. The truth of the matter is, I suck at fighting in Minecraft. Oh no. Like it's about the same as, as in this game. I, I am not good at it. Terraria as well. I kept getting killed in Terraria. It was awful. But like, it could be fun. I will probably revisit it at some point. Valheim is a nice game to start over. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I guess Minecraft has had a lot of updates since I last played it, and Valheim has had updates since I last played it, so I will revisit them at some point. Just no idea when. Oh, that's right, there was an end here. But I guess we can have a look. There's a sort of tunnel. Doesn't seem to be much in there. It's a creature! Yeah. The best way to do this would probably be to put down a torch or something. Can I really quickly select one of them? Seems I can. Alright. Yeah, this is mine. Of all, I need to get a new area before I'll consider it again. Yeah, I think it should be soon. Miss Lens should not take too long anymore. Maybe I'll do the same, just revisit it and let this out. So we get everything in one go. Hello? Not nice. Wanna see a game with a full story?
Well, those games take so long. What are some other games that you'd like to see, Alan? Like, I'm not promising anything. Play the forest. I forget what games I gave. Uh, Amnesia. <laughs> that one should be fun. I hate horror games. So that should be fun. You gave me Fable as well, that I've been wanting to try for a while. A friend of mine was really into it when I was into Oblivion and stuff, and of course we had sort of the rivalry going like, Fable is better. No, Oblivion is better. Never really played it. That one definitely has a story, but I'm not sure if that is something that you're interested in. Yuri's Revenge. 2000 game, that's still good. I don't know that one. Is a bit the cold. Fable is a really good game. Played it so much when I was younger. I mean, I think that it is right up my alley, actually. Fable, I mean. 22 years ago, it's still fresh. That is Yuri's Revenge. The one you're playing. What is this? Is this us? Yeah. Pixels. A flare. Are you supposed to not find a whole lot of copper? I feel like I'm getting screwed a bit. I found gold more than I found copper. Oh fuck, wrong object. Mitch, nice, we're good. When's the next cooking stream? See? Cooking stream's the thing. Unsure, but probably soon. I don't really have a story, per se. Oh no, I am in a hole with a lot of enemies. This could be a hole. Check the list. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the Amnesia series, Machine for Pigs, Rebirth, and The Dark Descent. I got Fable. I think all of them. This is the anniversary edition. The Kerbal Space Program, but that it doesn't really have a story, I think. Fucking Skull Girls. <laughs> Slay the Spire, Starbound, which I'm playing right now. And this War of Mine. This War of Mine does have a story, I think, right? I'll check the store page. Ah, oh, no, I guess not. But Amnesia certainly does not Fable, too. Oh, this story's good one. But it's random and self-driven. Yeah, it seems like one of those things where you can sort of discover the story for yourself, right? Find little bits of background and context. Sorry. Yeah, amnesia is fun. Like the first sort of seed of being a YouTuber or a streamer, something was planted in my head when I watched the PewDiePie play amnesia. I was like, I can do this. And it was really fun to watch. I completely binged it. I got nightmares afterwards, but it was really fun. There's nothing else down there. I need dirt. Gotta get up. 
dirt. Oh. Okay. Didn't know you could place blocks in the air like that when it's attached to the wall. Have I been here? Is this the same? Is copper. I feel like I can't really progress until I get more copper. Alright. Ah, actually, let me just play some block, it will be fine. It is not fine. Play the spire got an amazing community DLC. Definitely worth playing. I'll take it. Community DLC meaning that the fan base made it instead of the developers. Ah, that does work. Okay. Get out of here. Maybe I should craft some armor, see if I can do that. And I'm back at the service, alright. That's good. No copper here, then. Didn't check up here yet. Ah, thanks, yes. Good stuff that fits. Just a quick trade, aren't you? Schmack! The Hermit. Oh, I like his design. Venturing intruders and attempt to slay the spire. Okay. Defend the heart. I don't know what that is then. I don't know what part of this is the mod and what part is the base game, but it looks good. And I like the design of the character, so that in and of itself is a good enough reason. Sure, sure. Most of it is the mod. All right. And... Doesn't open. I wonder what the base game looks like. I do like card games, card based games like this. And I remember talking a while ago about one that I used to play on the GameCube, but I still can't remember the name of it. like you played a red-haired princess 
who used cards with power in them to attack enemies and stuff. And then when you've attacked, uh, destroyed a strong enemy, you got that enemy as a card. It was really fun. I think it wasn't very popular, but... For someone like me who was way into Yu-Gi-Oh, it was pretty cool. I think this is copper. See that I'm standing to sort of spare my neck and I still sort of jive into my fucking computer. And I got copper. And I got more copper! Yes! Way more! I am so happy. Get the tomato. Why can I not reach it? There we go. Okay, is there any more here? Or is this it? Because this is enough for me to go back. I think this is it. Let's go back. We'll get that hoe. Oh, wait, I can take the bed. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll just take everything. good. I can upgrade my base way much. This too. Like, I like these little thingies. Oh, it's a dinosaur. Alright. I'm prepared now. This is bad. Dead. Okay, dinosaur. Get over here. Can you not climb that? You can. Okay. <laughs> I did not expect to jump up there. Alright. Does he drown? Do you think he drowns? I don't think he does. It's okay though. I don't want to <laughs> deal with it either. Bye! Stay stuck in there for 10,000 years for all I care. Uh, this is not the way. What is the way? This is the cave. Thought it was the other one. I wonder if as a plant, like, I actually need to breathe. Or if I can just stay underwater indefinitely. I didn't see a bar show up or anything, so... Fuck. There's a cricket. Oh, I got a running nose, I'm sorry. My dad got COVID, so I hope I haven't picked it up too. Fuck. Yeah, made it. Ah. Got a base to build anyway. I don't got time for your bullshit. And I'm almost dying. That may have something to do with it. Look at my base. It is epic.
So now I can make... I can almost make a hoe. I need string. Where do I get string? Um... Ah, no clue. Wooden workbench? I don't think so, right? I'm guessing I can make timber here, yeah. Alright. Okay, I'm thinking that I can use the fiber that I have to make the string. I'd now just have to find what works with it. Furnace, I mean, no. Fabric and oars, no. Spinning wheel, that has to be the one. But I need a little more timber for it. more timber do I need? Okay, 16. Are you guys ready? Gotta make the hole. Hell yeah! Now I can toil the earth. Till the earth. And I should really upgrade this place. Got a bed now. And I got timber and I got doors, so... Let's clean this up a bit. Yep. Now, I don't think I need to fill in the back, as in Terraria 2. Sure about that though. Uh, let's see how much timber can I make? Sixty-three. I guess we just shoot. <laughs> nice. Timber, 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 timber. Timber. Doors too. Where do I place doors? Where's the doors? Because that's very good. Yeah. I gotta place it against the wall, I'm guessing. Okay, let's try it. I'm starving. Whoops. Bit of a base. Yeah. I found copper. So I'm... That's quick. Damn. <laughs> I was starving for like five seconds. Snake, I love you, but you're looking really good right now. <laughs> oh no. Well. 
Poof, gone. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, problem solved because I'm not hungry anymore. Get out of there. Can't be hungry if you're dead, right? Come out of the limbo. Just starve. It's easy. That has serious Marie Antoinette vibes. Alright. Now, I don't know if I can sort of destroy... Okay, that destroys that thing too. That's fine. I wanted to make a bed anyway, so... It will destroy all my workbenches too, but that's also okay. The people are starving. If they die, they won't be hungry. Oh, wait. No, you can't replace it. Okay, that's a shame. Uh, torches, though. Can you place torches on the wall? I'll replace this fucking potato. You can't. That's a shame. There. And I have one more door that I have already selected. Never mind. And I guess I can. Yeah. Nice. Out of way. Oh no. Get the shit. Okay. So, Sean, am I safe now? Or do I need to fill in the back wall as well? kind of predictable. Oh well. Back wall is just for decorating. Okay. And then the torch again. And then the door again. There. How do I do that? Because it is kind of ugly. I don't have enough space, but at least it would be nice to have sort of a It's not going to be cancelled. It's not going to be. No. Oh, you can just click this button to get back to your ship. Got it. Oh, you get the expressions. That's nice. Drop item Q and drive E. Grab some dinner. Yush. See you later. Have a nice stream. Thank you. I will paint mode. Is that it? Thanks for stopping by, man. That's not it. Oh well, let me just put down my bed. Just a couple, because why not? And my benches, I suppose. Can I not place them from the menu? I suppose not. Oh, 
Oh, they can't interact with a torch. Okay. So I got that thing. Spinning wheel. Yay. I got everything. Except for a chair. I need a chair. About to get my lunch after this install. Food. I have one chair. Nice. Um, yeah, I want to put down the campfire there anyway. Well, it's almost time for me to log off as well. I'm going to get food soon too. There. And I think this is actually a nice place to do it. Because we got a base. We got a hoe. We can till soil. We got all of our workbenches set up. I don't think I missed any of them. Forging table, I have the one anvil I don't have. Can I make it? I can't make it. Let's just do that right now then. Making some good progress, yeah. I'm sure, in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> not too much, but. Pretty decent. Got some good stuff going. It doesn't fit! Hmm. It works. And I think I got a good bunch of stuff too. Got some flares, got Molotov cocktails. A manipulator module. An oboe, you never know when that's gonna come in handy. And bombs and stuff, nice. This is pretty fun. And I see, does this bed provide better bonuses? I think it should. Feel like it should. Better than a sleeping bag on the floor. Although not gonna lie, some of the best night sleep I had were in sleeping bags. Oh. Yeah, I can get up as well. Nice. Now I can't get up anymore, but that's fine. Now I can. Defenses. Well, guess that was it, guys. That was fun. Thank you all for watching. And thanks to Mr. 24 for giving me the game. Very cool. Ho ho! It was a good one. <laughs> Looking forward to dinner too. Noise. So hey, thank you all very much for watching. Everyone enjoy your food. Everyone enjoy the rest of your day, evening, midday, whatever. Just make it a good one. I'll be back, I guess tomorrow. I don't think I have anything else to do. So hey, I may continue with this game, may try something else. I'm not entirely sure yet like what the sequence of games is that I want to play. So yeah, that's it. Everyone, thanks again. I really appreciate it. If you like the stream and you're not following yet, please do so. It helps a bunch. And I'll see you all next time. I'm out. Bye-bye.